Well, I have the log in this position. It's one of the things I was telling you about. Everything you can do to it while it's in the position that it happens to be in, sitting on your horses. I'm going to go ahead and score this while I have it laying flat. Now, I don't like to keep a uniform score mark. I've, I've seen people kind of stagger them like that, but it's a little bit too uniform for my taste. So what I like to do is just randomly score it. And since I will start hewing from that end, I like my score marks to be at this angle. So when I come across with the broad axe, I'm coming across on the side of the score. It kind of brings the wood up a little bit and it cuts off a little bit cleaner. If I was coming back in this direction with my broad axe, I would have a tendency everywhere I score this to tear it out. And I'm trying to score as clean or score and hew as clean as possible. I'm going to get this notch cleaned up using my two inch chisel. One of the first things I like to do is these little splinters that you get from the chainsaw, I would like to just kind of shave those off. I've got a little bit of wood left right here in the middle where the tips of the bars didn't come all the way. Now take my chisel, just chopping down. I'm going to remove that. And I've got just a little bit on the shoulder that I can take out. It's not necessary being there at this point. Now I'm going to take that down to the line on the angle here with my chisel. Get around here where I can see it. Just start going down to the line on the upper part of the notch. Just paring down to it. Just leaving the line. Just paring right down to the line. I'm always aware where the end of that chisel is because it's really sharp and I keep it pointed away from me. And I'm doing the little yellow Crayola trick. Now I can start working all this wood down till I get to the line up here and on the end on the lower side of it. Now there's different ways I could do that. I could just use a two inch chisel and I may have told you this before and or I can just use a slick. But I can also I really don't have to on this notch, but if there's a lot of wood here that needs to be removed, you can take a chainsaw. And I would recommend that you use a smaller size saw and real lightly just brush that. And when you see that yellow begin to disappear, you know you're getting close to the yellow line or to your pencil line. Now I can take my slick and it's really sharp too. I can just start paring that excess wood off there.
Now you could do this entire notch with a slick by just doing what I'm doing here, just paring it down. I'm using my Bailey number four hand plane. I've got it set real light and I can just start working that off. It's taking some really, really thin shavings. When I start getting pretty close, I'm going to take a straight edge and check it from here to here, especially, but to here about two inches from the end where this log sits across there, that upper notch will have a real clean surface there to sit on, and that's nice and flat. It's beginning to get pretty close there. The lead that was left from the pencil on the layout of using that template left a little mark here. And that's my high spot, so I know where to actually plane to get those little bitty bumps off of there. That's good. I'll work my way all the way back to this shoulder as far as I can plane. Then I'll finish this area up right in here with a slick. As you can see from here back, all of my yellow has just now disappeared. Check it with my straight edge. I'm looking good right in there. Just a little bit right here and here needs to come off. I'm in good shape there. That's about as far back as I can go with my plane. So I'll take my slick and finish it up. It's nice and flat there, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, I've got the log turned up on the horses upside down. Now this is the bottom part of the notch, and I'll show you how I cleaned that up. I do it a little bit differently than I do on the top. I like it real clean. Get those little frazzles off there. Got a little excess wood right in here on the middle. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pare down to the little bit of a line that's left. It's not very much on this side. Now on this bottom notch, from this point to this point on the layout lines, I like to make this a little bit concave. I like this dished out just a little bit. So when this log is set on the wall, this edge and this edge will actually be touching and that will give me some room if I need to make some adjustments on the way it fits. I'm not having to deal with the wood all the way across. I'm just dealing with the wood that's right here on the edges. And now I can take my chainsaw and do the same thing that I did on the upper notch. I can take it and just brush it lightly and kind of give it a little bit of a hollowed out place in here. Now I can take my slick and just start taking that wood out. Cleaning it up.
I'm coming back to the edge and I'm just, you can see I'm just kind of cutting that right along there. Then I can take my slick and just take some more meat out. Tilting my, my slick up a little bit. Now this part of the notch is not going to be seen except for here. And this side being the inside face of the log, it's not going to be seen. But this will be the outside face of the log. This area will be what you actually see when the log is set on the wall. Now the underneath side of this, since it is concave, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can leave chisel marks or slick marks, and that's not going to bother anything. Even if you have some chainsaw marks, that's going to be on the bottom side, and it's going to be hidden. But I like to get this thing as, as, as clean as I possibly can. Turn your slick over if you want to with the bevel side down. You can clean that up if you want it really, really sweet. Turn it over. You can start checking it with a straight edge. I have not quite got an eighth of an inch. I want to have about an eighth or so, so I can come back and take just a little bit more out. I'm in pretty good shape right there. I'm in good shape all the way.